Right. In this video, we're going to take a look at handling dates in R. Now, dates are just a bit particular, um, and uh, and we're just going to see how how R handles them. I actually really like how R handles them. It gives you a lot of control. You don't need to learn all sorts of weird format names. Um, so we're going to do this with this birthdays data set. If I just open it up, there it is. And so we see a bunch of names and a bunch of birthdays. Um, we're obviously there uh, to see 23 of September 1983. You have got the um, the date, the month, and the year. All right. So first things first, let's uh, let's import that data set. So data dot frame. Uh, sorry. Read dot CSV. And now we we uh, just go to the data file. So put in the string desktop. And then it is. Um, birthdays.csv so we read that in and there there it is um, but if we were to do a, a structure on birthdays we see that name and birthday have the same factor right uh, sorry the same class they're both factors in other words it's just read these in as strings so, what? And in other words, that that's fine if we just want it, but we can't do any any operations on that. So we can't find out the time between two dates and things like that. So if we um, or or, or sort on that on that frame. So if we um, if we wanted to change that, so we want to take the birthdays data set, um, and we want to reevaluate the the birthday column. So if you see that, that's the birthday column in the birthdays data set. And now what we just do is as dot date. So we say, okay, this is a date. Now what is a date? Well, it's the current birthday's birthday, capital B there. And now this is the trick, and this is what R does really well. We put in a string, and we put in the format, so what this thing looks like. But what's very nice is that we just say, okay, percentage D, that's the date, so there will be the date, then there will be um, a slash, then it'll be the month and percentage M. I'll put up a little slide at the end of this video to, so, to know what these things are. And then percentage capital year for, for the year. Now if we pull that in, and now if we look at um, structure of birthdays, you see it's got a date. All right? And it knows the format. And it's even changed it a bit. Okay? So we won't, won't worry about it too much, but um, now we can do um, we can do things to this data set that we wouldn't have been able to do. So, for example, we can order um, the uh, the birthdays. We've done this before. If you order the birthday, so um, the first the the first element is the fifth, and uh, the second element is the first, etc. Um, and so we can use that then to. Um, to sort our data set. So if we write sorted, so that's our sorted uh, birthday data set, which is just going to be birth day, and now we just put in order birthday dollar birthday. Uh, I think that's right, yep. That should say birthdays there. That should also say birthdays there. Oh, and I've forgotten here to put in the um, the colons. That's just saying this is the the rows I want, and I want every uh, variable. So now, if we run that, and we say show us sorted, we see things have changed order, um, but importantly, thereby uh, what is first. So 1922 is obviously the first one. 2005 is obviously the last one. And now with sorted, we can do something like look at the time between the birthdays using the diff, which you remember just takes the a pairwise difference of, of birthdays, so we'll just do that there. Oh, sorry, yeah, um, sorted is, is a data frame, so we can say we just want from sorted, we want birthday. And there what's come out is just the time difference in days between the uh, the various birthdays from 1922 to 1934, it's 4,000 days, um, and then if we look, there's one place there that's got one, one day's difference, um, I don't quite see it myself. There it is between Isabella and, and Joanna. There. Um, 
So that's how to handle dates in R. Now, as I said, um, it's very nice because it gives you power, so you could have whatever you want. So instead of that colon, that slash, sorry, there, I could have a, a full on word or however the data's, uh, data has been entered. And um, you just need to, to know these, these little things. And here you can see them. So the little symbol, or the little D we saw, it's a day is a number. The little A, that's an abbreviated weekday. Big A is a weekday. Um, uh, and etc. So you can have the two digit year with a little y, the four digit year with a big y. And that little table is all you need. So just putting a percentage uh, before one of those letters says, okay, right there, there is going to be, uh, so for second percentage A, it says, okay, look for mon, chu, um, wed, and stuff like that. So that's how to handle dates in R.